week coming up, Chinese President Hu Jintao comes to Washington on an official state visit to meet with President Obama at the White House. No doubt discussions will center around the tough issues between our two countries, like trade deficits and exchange rates. Now, it is a commonly held view here in the United States that China's spectacular economic growth in recent decades has come at the expense of America's growth. China's lower manufacturing costs have given it a competitive edge, giving us cheaper priced goods for Americans to buy, but a generation of U.S. factory workers have lost out in the process. Now, there is a flip side to the China story that is starting to emerge, especially now. China's growth is fueling a growing middle class in that country that will be just as eager to spend on goods and services to better their lives the way Americans did. And U.S. companies are taking notice, including U.S. automakers. General Motors, the same company that got a bailout from the U.S. government almost two years ago, sold 2.4 million vehicles in China last year. 2.4 million vehicles. That's 200,000 more vehicles than they sold in the United States. And China's appetite for cars is only expected to grow. Ford increased its auto sales in China by 40% in the same period. Now, most of those cars were manufactured in China for China's domestic market, but... The fact that once troubled automakers can have a go in China and succeed was unthinkable just a few years ago. A stronger growth abroad should give those automakers and other companies doing business in China, well, it should put them on more solid ground here at home. So the issues that divide the U.S. and China are real, but I believe the equation is changing. China's future economic clout is an opportunity for U.S. investors as much as it's a threat. That's my XYZ. Thanks for joining the conversation this week on Your Money. We're here every Saturday, 1 p.m. Eastern, and Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern. And you can get Christine Romans on your bottom line Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. Stay connected 24-7 on Twitter, at Ali Belshi.